Martin Eden is Jack London's 1909 semi-autobiographical novel. Uh, I consider it to be his under-the-radar classic. He's obviously best known for White Fang and Call of the Wild and all these kind of adventure stories. But Martin Eden's a little different for Jack London. It's, it's very introspective, it's very poetic, and it essentially tells the story of a young man, a young sailor, who kind of by accident ends up in the, the home of a wealthy family. And what he finds himself surrounded by is, is beauty. It's, 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 there are paintings on the wall and there are books on the shelves. And he starts thumbing through them and he starts reading poetry. And what he decides is that he wants to be a part of this. And so he decides to become a writer. And so it's Jack London's story of how he became a writer. I read it uh, for the first time when I was 18 or 19 years old. Um, it was actually quite an unforgettable experience. I was on an overnight train in Italy and I just had this one paperback with me and I started reading it and I stayed up all night uh, reading it. I couldn't, I couldn't put it down and I, I pretty much read it cover to cover. And it's always been in the back of my mind. Uh, I've thought about this book on and off over the years. And then last year, there's a, a beautiful Italian film adaptation of it, which won some awards at the Venice Film Festival. And so suddenly it was thrust back in my consciousness and I thought, oh right, Martin Eden, Jack London, let's, let's revisit that. And so I decided to record it as an audiobook. And I found it strikingly relevant, even though it's 110 years old, that it's the, it's the story it's a struggle. It's, it's a young man's struggle for identity. It's, it's a young man's struggle to become an artist. It's a young man's struggle to, to find his place in the world and to make something of himself. And this is timeless. It's just going on all around us. And we're at an interesting moment in American history where we're, we're struggling with our American identity. And Jack London is a quintessential American writer. And through this character of Martin Eden, he kind of, he, he nails it. He nails like what we're constantly going through is this search for self. And so it was, it, I mean, it was, it was personally an extraordinary experience to revisit this. I of course had a thousand memories of being 18 or 19 years old and that time of my life. And I just enjoyed it immensely. It's always been one of my favorites. And so I was, I was delighted to put it into audiobook form. And I hope that, that people will enjoy it. There's, um, there's one last thing I'll say about it is that, so obviously it starts as a novel uh, and then uh, it was made into a film and now I'm making it into an audio book. And each version is different. You start with the original novel and that's the basis for everything. And then the film I thought was, was even though it's set in Italy and it's done in Italian, was wonderfully faithful to the book, I, I was amazed. It, it really, it just, it captured everything about Martin Eden and what he went through. And then you have an audiobook recording, which of course adds something else as well, it's, it's, it's performative. Um, and so you have these three different versions. You have the, the original novel, you have a film, and you have an audiobook. And they each offer something a little bit different. But it's always been my belief that in the audiobook form, you must stay as faithful as possible to the original. And that is, of course, what I, I tried to do here. Um, and I, I hope I was successful. Um, people will let me know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much.